Hello and welcome back to more Let's Play Tales of Savonia. I am the Vex of your trades in the last part. Well, things did not go according to plan. How about we just phrase it like that? <laughs> so we made packs with all of the summon spirits and then a giant tree grew into the middle of the world and it was really awful and everything was going to die. So then we shot a huge friggin' cannon at it and then it seemed to explode up real good. It was um, it was a pretty awesome spectacle, not going to not going to lie. Although it appears that Colette has found herself with another extraordinarily deadly, aff uh, you know, condition, affliction, condition of things. The point is, more terrible things are happening to Colette, and I may think she's a bit of a dim bulb and whatnot, but I certainly would not wish all of this misfortune upon her. It's pretty dang awful. Regardless, we are going to go to that dwarf's house whose name escapes me. Uh, Altesia, I think, is his name? We're gonna go there, and hopefully he'll be able to tell us what we gotta do. What is all this about? Is your body okay? I mean, I know it's covered in fish scales, but... Yeah, I'm sorry to worry you. Damn you, Colette! I see. That's good, then. I wonder if... Hmm? Is this a punishment because I quit the world regeneration? Well, I don't know if it's punishment, but it's probably a side effect of it. Nonsense! You suffered through all that all by yourself. So get that noise out of here. How could anyone want to punish that? Thank you, Lloyd. Lloyd is a good friend! That's that's one of his key characteristics. Alright, so, yep, this is definitely the place. Altasia, I managed to remember your name. I almost called him Tethiala. Uh, no, that is, that is probably not the case. Alright, yo, Doc. We got a bad case of the fish scales. What's up? You! If you're back here in Tethiala, then the world must be... Uh, actually about that. We had to kill a tree. I see. So that's what caused the massive earthquake the other day. You gads. Was there damage on this side too? It seems that the other regions were not greatly affected, but... There were landslides and falling rocks in the area, and because of that, Mythos was. Hmm. Hey, Mythos, what happened? You're hurt. I can just tell, I guess. Ah, this is... It's okay, I'm fine now. Did you see the boulders outside? The other day, there was a massive earthquake, and the boulders fell toward me. I see. I'm glad you're safe. Yeah, that's really impressive the way you protected Tabitha like that, Mythos. Okay, so he can survive being crushed underneath boulders. Shares the exact same name as the legendary hero who apparently betrayed the summon spirits. Which we are apparently, we've all decided to just completely, you know, ignore for now, I guess. He came out of nowhere, he's become a, a very large portion of everybody's lives. The betrayal is real, guys. The only thing I don't understand is why he saved Tabitha. That 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 doesn't make sense. He really saved us before, too. You're a really nice guy, Mythos. And they're, like, laying on all this info. Like, oh, he's such a great guy. The greatest of guys. Like, I don't think so. Ah, not really. Even Persea thinks he's a kind person. That's not good. I'll just find Rain. Just keep showering him with all sorts of praise. Okay, apparently maybe Zelos has something going on here. He has some vague idea about what's happening. Can't say I know for certain, but let's just let's hope this hope let's hope this you know all gets figured out before it leads to horrible consequences for us all, which means of course it won't. But you know, we'll see. Regarding Galette's illness, it's most likely chronic angelus crystallisius in officium. What? Rejection of the crystal is said to occur in one out of every million people, so of course she is one of them. But I've heard that knowledge of the cure was lost long ago. If you could find records from the ancient war, then perhaps... So it all comes back to the ancient war. But where do we go to find records of it? There's an archive building in Sabak that is dedicated to the history of Mythos. Oh yeah, now that you mention it, I've heard of that. Oh yes, I do know about that. Yeah, I can't imagine why. An archive building, I wonder if it will be of any use. If you like, I can show you around there. Yeah, that'd be great. You just want to go with Mythos. Your and Genus is going to be emotionally devastated by this very obvious betrayal. Well, I guess an archive building will be safe enough. Sure, let's go together. And the pieces are coming together, guys. Oh, boy. Also, yeah, I guess the boulders are there. Huh. That is some... That is some Gruntilda-level stopping power you got there with them rocks. All right, so Sabak. That would be the land of... The nerds, right? The nerdy nerd town full of nerds. Let's see, I think it's on this side. Is this Sabak? Yes, yes it is. That was not a very long journey. Go us. 
All right, so where or where specifically would you like me to go? Um, I imagine the information would be in the library. This is the closest thing to a library I know of in this town. Materials pertaining to Mythos and his companions are on display in this area. Hey, took a look at this. What's up? One of Mythos' companions was afflicted by, with a disease that crystallizes the body. That sounds the same as Colette. Colette is sick? Uh, yeah, did you not hear the conversation that took place just like a few minutes ago? Ah, uh, yeah, Lil. What happened to that person? It seems it was cured. Then there is a way to cure it, just as Altessa said. I hope the technique hasn't been lost. So what's the cure? It says a unicorn saved the maiden. Is, is that the unicorn horn that we got at Lake Umasi? You mean the one that Rain used to learn new healing arts? If so, then we already know that those healing arts can't help Colette. I wonder if the unicorn itself is necessary. Now that you mention it, the unicorn did say he lived for healing Martel's sickness, or something like that. It's just as Kratos said. Remember the unicorn's words. I wonder who Kratos really is. What are you talking about? He's a traitor. What are you gonna do if you trust him and you wind up regretting it? Like how I am with both Mythos and Zelos. Um, no, I'm, I'm suspicious of everybody everywhere. There is a possibility, but let's test it before we start worrying whether it's true or not. Yeah, we can only do what we can. Lloyd, you're strong. You think so? How can you be so positive when there may be a trap and only darkness may lay up ahead? I think it's because my friends will help me. If I was alone, I think I would have already been crushed by the weight of the burden. But we've got a lot of people, which means we can lift a lot of stuff. I too wish I had friends like that. You're a friend now, right? Uh-huh. You're one of Lloyd's friends. Of course. Sure. Although you may catch a stupidity. Genus, why are you the worst friend? Yeah, I envy you. But, how can we find more information on the Carlon War? I've heard that the royal family has compiled and stored most of the materials containing Mythos in the Carlon War. During the Carlon War, Mythos did have various interactions with the rulers. So it's Meltokio then, but the Pope will be breathing down our necks. It's dangerous. We don't have the luxury of complaining about that now. Yeah, we'll head for Meltokio, but you should go back, Mythos. Anyway, we'll take Mythos back, and it is fine. I can go by myself, but it's fine. Don't you need to hurry? And you're going to be infiltrating the castle, right? So be careful. Yeah, okay then. Let's go. Did they all really believe him? Ha <laughs> ha! All right. Oh, 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 you know what? This makes sense. Zelos can see through the lies and deceptions of Mythos because he is a master of lies and deception. He's gonna double, he's gonna double cross us. And then someone's gonna double, triple cross us, and it's gonna be like, I don't even know, it's gonna be some sort of weird uh, leapfrog of betrayals. It's gonna be insane. Oh boy, okay. So, Mel Tokyo, once again. Hello, hello, how y'all doing? Still not gonna let me in? All right then. Good thing they never bother to look over here or every time I walk by. Oh, 15 years from now. Let's see, Zealous is talking to a little girl. Don't wanna hear it. Don't want to hear it. <laughs> I don't care what the context is. Whoa, what are we doing in here? Hello. Oh, it's that guy. This is the money. You got the stuff? I got the stuff if you give me the money. Yep, it's all there. <laughs> How long before the king is dead? Probably another month or so with this poison. It takes a while. I've been told to make it look like he died from an illness. It's slow, but he'll die for sure. Tell his eminence, the pope, to wait just a little bit longer. I see. I knew there was something wrong when the normally healthy king got sick. He's apparently getting murdered by a pope. That is an interesting obituary. What are we gonna do, Lloyd? Isn't it obvious? If we save the king, he'll be in our debt. Which means we might stop getting treated as criminals everywhere. That'd be a nice convenience. Why can't they just say that? They'll save him. Who's there? It's the Chosen. Damn, it's Zealous. What? It's you, Varley. He gads. The rotund man of pure evil. Damn, I can't have people knowing about the assassination. Die here! Be quiet! I won't forgive you! Whoa! Whoa, we don't even fight him? We just straight up end him. I'm gonna die here? You've gotta be kidding me. Well, scum does typically seem to always end up in the sewers, so... I have to say this is a pretty fitting place for you, Varley. I'm gonna die here like that damned Alyssia. Oh my god, really? With your last breath, you you spit upon the dead. You are a terrible person. I'm okay with you being dead. So he was the link between the Pope and Rodile of the five Grand Cardinals. The Pope is connected to Kuchinawa as well. 
The x spheres and Tathala passed from Varley to Rodile. And the experiments related to the Crucius Crystals were passed from Rodile to Varley and ultimately to the Pope. It's a worldwide conspiracy! The Pope already asked them to assassinate the King in exchange for his cooperation. INSOLENCE! Alright, let's get the Pope. Where do we find a Pope? Where or oh, where do we find a Pope and how do we, how do we, how do we stab him? How am I going to kill a Pope? I finally accomplished my goal of so many years. What will you do now? Eh, yeah, for the sake of Lloyd and the others who aided me in my revenge. And for Alyssa's sake as well, I shall assist in what meager way I can to eliminate Crucius. Yes. Defeating Varley does not mean that everything is over. Just that our personal mission is. In fact, it may just be the beginning. Beginning? A new beginning for the sake of turning our eyes from the past and toward the future. How very introspective of you once again, Regal. Alright. Once again, it's funny. Literally nobody except the high officials really seem to like, you know, like guards and stuff seem to care. <laughs> they all can recognize me. Zelos is, you know, he's kind of this big honking deal. Oh, okay, and nobody ever seems to raise a stink about it. I've never heard of Colette's illness before. Yes, it's only briefly mentioned in Mythos' records. I wonder if any of the other Chosen who embarked on the world regeneration encountered the same disease. It's possible, but they all died, so maybe. Among the Chosen who died along the way, there may have been some who suffered from it. The Chosen is always the one who suffers. We must do something to save that innocent girl. She's too dim and clumsy to have to suffer this much. Alright, so how on earth do we break into the castle when there's guards all over the dang place? That is what I need to know. Let's see, the Pope should be in the church. Oh, we're just gonna go straight into the church. Head first! Okay. I sure hope the Pope is there, otherwise we've got no leads whatsoever. Hello? Oh, but that's not a person, that's like a candle or something. Kinda looked like it might have been somebody's head. Okay, um, doors? Places to go? Peekaboo, I find you, Mr. Popatu. Yo, you're late! Uh-oh. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. And several of us just kind of walked through a wall there. Rain was kind of clipping. What What are you two people doing here? We are gonna shank you and stuff. We have something we want to ask you about. You're poisoning his majesty, aren't you? I don't know what you're talking about. You're certainly a stubborn little liar. Is there an antidote? I don't know anything. Don't move! I swear I will eat your face. Then let's have you drink this poison. If it doesn't take any uh, effect immediately anyway. Alright, it's in the drawer of the desk. Here it is! Well, that was remarkably easy. That's something I've been wanting to ask you too. Why did you try to have Kate executed? She's your daughter! Sh shut up, what do you know? Yeah, I don't know. That's, so that's why I'm asking. Are you stupid or something? You have a half-elven daughter. Why would you take the initiative in creating rules to oppress half-elves? Are you just that terrible of a person? When I was young, I also thought the oppression of half-elves was wrong. Then why? The church exists to offer salvation to all, does it not? You are capable of understanding the terror of growing older, while your child, who supposedly shares your blood, does not. That... that's it? You were upset that she didn't age as quickly as you? Because that's a really stupid reason to be upset with your, your, your daughter. Especially considering that, as the parent, you were gonna die first anyway. None of what you're saying- that, that, that is a terrible excuse. You better have a better one. That's not Kate's fault. That's the kind of species half-elves are. Yes, and that is why they are shunned. How dare they have longer life expectancies. Grrr! I understand the feelings of those who persecute them because my daughter is a half-elf. She terrifies me. Why? How? Reasons. You ain't got none. I just called the guards. If the Chosen dies here, the church will be mine in both name and reality. Will the Church of Martell last without the Chosen? F, we have Celeste. So you did intend to drag my s- What? Into this, you pathetic old geezer. Okay, apparently Celeste has a sister. It's your fault. Why is a worthless and irresponsible man like you the Chosen? If it weren't for you, no one would have been in- in No one would have interfered with my half-elf banishment project. Why do humans treat us this way? It's just a bunch of- I don't- Gina, seriously, just shut up, okay? You know the answer to that. It's because people are stupid. Those who are different must be eliminated. <laughs> Change and differences are scary and I don't like them. Shut up, it doesn't matter if you're a half-elf, a human, or a dwarf, or whatever other kind of horrifying creatures live in this world. 
No matter who or what you are, you're born in this world and you have the right to live. Oh, hi. Don't move. Suddenly, guards. Hey, he's gonna get away. I will take care of them. Quick, let's very leisurely walk towards him. Damn, he got away. If only we walked a little faster. Ch Chosen, I'm sorry. Please prepare yourself. Ah! It's an angel! An angel has come down from heaven! It's the second coming of, S of the Spiritua! Okay. Look, your heretical deeds have brought down an emissary of Crucius. Uh, chosen one, then this must truly be. Yes, she is an angel of death and destruction. Spirit has returned! Please forgive us, so great angel. Uh, uh, what should I do? Hey, what's going on? Don't worry and just follow my lead. Oh, holy angel, how shall we deal with these creatures? Colette, say you're going to kill them. B but it's okay, just say it like you're in command. Uh, uh, die. Please forgive us. Very convincing acting. Thank you, Colette. Holy One, please spare their lives in my name. I will defeat those who oppose you and once again act as the Chosen to spread the teaching of Martel. Please, say you'll forgive them. Ah, okay. I shall forgive you. Did you hear that? The Angel has recognized the Chosen as the true Holy Will of the Church. Leave at once and capture my enemies, the Pope, and his private soldiers, the Papal Knights. Aren't you Papal? You know, whatever. Yes, sir. Revoke the wanted status of the Chosen and his companions at once. Yes, sir. Everyone do as the Chosen commands. Oh, well, that's handy. Wow, everyone did what you said, Zelos. We were saved by the legend of Spiritua. Is that relation to Spiritua the Chosen of Silverant? Beats me. If you want to know the details, go read the books in the church or something. Anyway, Spiritua is famous for saving a Chosen by killing a king who tried to dispose of the Chosen. Huh, kind of like what's going on now. Does this mean that they won't be chasing us anymore? The church should be fine now, anyway. What's left is His Majesty. We need to let him know that he's been poisoned. Colette obtained the title of Spirito Reborn. Okay. I'm not gonna take my time and read them books. Whoa, hello. Wh what? Princess, please let us see his majesty. I don't know anything about the return of Spirito, but my father is sick. My father only wanted to protect the Allah. We know. Are we? Are you aware that his majesty has been poisoned by the Pope? That can't be. He's a Pope. It's true. The Pope has run away upon being investigated for it. We must hurry and neutralize the poison. Please move. Thank you for taking us at face value. It looks like this is definitely the antidote. Ah! Hmm. Father! Ah! What? It looks like you regained consciousness. Your Majesty, do you recognize me? The traitor Zelos? Have you come to kill me? Ah, yes. That's definitely what we just are here to do. Hmm. No, Zelos saved you. Traitor, yes, that does suit me. Anyway, we have set up by the Pope. Uh, we were set up by the Pope. We have no intention of harming Tathiala. Even if the ruling family were to doubt him, the church, soldiers, and citizens will certainly side with Zelos the Chosen. We have the return of spiritual with us, after all. What do you want? They want to see documents concerning the hero Mythos and the Karalan War that are maintained by the royal family. They're stored in the archive on the second floor. Do what you will with them. Do not show yourselves in front of me again. I am tired. I want nothing more to do with the church's power struggles. You're just being selfish. You also look a lot like the Burger King. It's all right, kid. Then, your majesty, we shall allow ourselves access. What a jerk. Seriously. You save somebody's life, and then all of a sudden, boom, no one cares. These are the royal chambers. Indeed. Where may I find the royal chambers pot? Okay. I mean, we are still in a medieval area, and I ain't seen no toilets, so... Uh, what exactly... I think I'm on the second floor now. I, I was on the third. Okay, this clearly is not it. I shall explore these hallowed halls until I can find a way. Also, okay, balcony. Good, awesome, glad that's there. That's totally not superfluous <laughs> at all to the overall design of this, of this area. Okay, and I guess so. Oh, hello. Are you the magical library that we need? Indeed it is! Alright, let's start looking through the books! Oh, now we're willing to run! We'll run to get to them books faster, but we ain't gonna run to catch a pope! Alright, fine. We gotta hire Guido Sarducci. That guy can find a pope anywhere. Mostly into pizza. 
Points for the reference. It's no, it's no use. Uh, I can't believe we searched through all this and still haven't found it. Are there any other books? I'm not gonna give up. There has to be a way. Lloyd, thank you, but it's okay. You can stop. Well, that's oh, that's absurdly convenient. Thank you for that. This is angelic language? No, they're ancient elven letters. Wait, this may be it. I certainly didn't expect to find the book that way. Well, you should have. Every single time Colette falls over, something good or beneficial to the quest happens. It's really weird. Colette's clumsiness seems to truly be blessed. Professor, what does it say? And also, look at Colette go. Wait. In order to prevent the erosion of the Crucius Crystal, a mana fragment and Zikron and are fused using Boltzmann technique to create a rune crest. Fibers from the mana leaf herb, when placed in the crest, protect against the crystallization caused by the illness. Ah, the rest of this is just theory. So in other words, we need a mana fragment, Zikron, and a unicorn horn, right? Okay, I know we have one of those. And a mana leaf herb, then we have something called a rune crest. And attaching that to the key crest will suppress the crystal's activity. Who's gonna make that? Well, a dwarf, I guess. What is happening to Colette's body? It says it's called Chronic Angelus Crystallization Iphothsium, just like Altesia's diagnosis. It's an illness that causes the entire body to become a Crucius Crystal. Ah, so you're turning into a statue. Okay, now we have some hope. But there's not much time. It says the epidermal crystallization begins within a few months. And the final stages of the disease cause the body to completely crystallize. The internal organs start to crystallize, and the epidermis has crystallized, and then finally... The subject dies. You, you really didn't have to get that straight up about it. I suppose there's no point in trying to mince words. Yes, exactly. Then let's hurry! Blah 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 blah. Where are the materials? My company once handled Zikron. If we go to the main Lazarezno, Lazarezno building, we should be able to find information on it and where it is stored. Monoleaf herb is probably in Hemdal. The Elven Village? Yes, I think I heard that name of the plant before when I was a child. But the people of Hemendal forbid anyone that's not an elf to enter the village. Why? Seems there was some trouble between them and humans a long time ago. These days, no one enters without a permit from the King of Tethiala. I wonder if the King will give us a permit. Well, he doesn't really have a choice. We need him to. He doesn't seem to want to see me. We could try asking Princess Hilda. Then, assuming we get the mana leaf herb, what about the mana fragment? What is it, anyway? Beats me. In the scriptures of the Church of Martell, there's a passage that says... The colossal mana of the great motherland, Daris Carlon, rained down upon the earth in fragments giving birth to all living things. So, it's in Daris Carlon? There's no proof, but... That's the enemy's main base. Let's do that later. First, we'll go to either Hemdal or Le Lizareno Company in Altamira. Okay? Sounds to me, like on the surface level that going through an elven village is going to be the more difficult process. So let's get that one. Let's do that one first. All right, so where exactly would I find this Princess Hilda? Is she still up in the chambers? Is that something? I mean, they don't want me to go... He clearly doesn't want me to go back in there, but I don't really know. The king is resting. If you have urgent business, you should speak to the princess. Oh, okay. So she's not in there. Good to know. All right, so then where exactly would she be? Where or where would she be? Oh, that would be right here. Okay, that well, works. My father says that he does not want to meet with anyone, but we have to go to Hemdal. The king is the only one that can issue the pass to Hemdal, right? Could you please ask him first, princess? Salos, if you insist, I will ask my father. Please wait a moment as I carry my fan. Even if we received the pass, Amadel's not a friendly village to anyone except elves. I can't say if they'll give us a monoleaf herb. We'll get them to give it to us somehow, even if it requires violence! We'll save this world one body at a time. <laughs> oh, that is a horrible thing to say. This is a letter from my father to Hemadal. You should be able to enter the village with this. Kind of weird that a, a human king has access to the, it, the elf village that no one is allowed to go into unless they're an elf. That's confusing. Princess, you have my thanks. Where's Hemadal, anyway? The Tower of Salvation is located at the center of the world, right? It's south of there. I heard it's surrounded by the Ymir Forest. Okay, let's go, guys. Luckily, I already know where that is. 
So that's handy. I bumped into it on my manyest travels while I was just kind of running around training and doing stuff. And it appears as if people will stop trying to harass me whenever I go places. Will that mean I can finally just use the front gate? I can! Oh, it's a miracle. A Christmas mackerel of the highest order. All right, so let's see. Let's see if I can figure... I think it's right this way. Roughly around this general area. Hang on a second here. There we go. That should be what I think it is. The Ymir Forest! Huzzah! 